installation of PUBG Mobile on PC using the Tencent Gaming Buddy app. So step one, we go to the website and download the for Tencent Gaming Buddy app. So I'll put the link below. Just go into this uh, website, click down and just download the setup file onto your desktop or wherever you want. Okay, step two, the download is done. As you can see, it's downloaded here. Just double click on this to start it. Now, before you click install, click customize. And then we select the directory where we want. So click customize. And then we select the directory where we want. So you can uh, either leave it at default. Now it's showing me F drive because F is the last drive on my system. So I have C, D, E, and F. So it tends to normally pick the last drive for some reason. So change this and put it to C or whatever you want. You can put it at F as well if you want. I want to put it on C because C is my main drive and it's also the SSD. So I want it to be on the SSD. I'll just name something PUBG Mobile and then click install. So first it will install the app and then it will start downloading the game itself. So it's done that. It's installed the app as you can see down here. Now it's we'll click start and it will start downloading the game. It will prepare now. It's downloading the engine first and then it will start downloading the game. Wait for this. This is almost done. It's not too big. 99% done. Nearly done. I think we're just waiting for it. This is not the game itself. So the game will start after this is done. So I think that is done. Now it should start downloading the game. So it's showing 0% and 5%. It's downloading. So what I'll do is I'll come back when this is done. So we are at 98%. Apparently a lot of people get stuck here. Let's see what happens here. 9900. So this has downloaded. It took me about 10 minutes or so because my internet isn't that fast right now. But as you can see it's downloaded and we'll just wait for it to finish. And hopefully this is done. So download is done. Now it's installing and it's done things smooth settings etc so as you can see it is done now it's going through the basic setup we'll click hd here save restart it okay so obviously we can sign in and do all of that but i'll close it now and we'll work on the engine first so these are the settings that I do at the start to get the best performance. So click on the three lines, game, select HD and I'll select smooth because I want smooth. HD looks nice but we want it to be smooth. Go to engine, now you can select prioritize dedicated GPU, select DirectX, you can also select OpenGL. Anti-aliasing will go ultimate, memory will go to 4 GB. I have 16 GB so I'll go maximum processor I'll select 8 cores even though I have a 6 core processor I've tried this this works fine resolution will go 1080 and DPI settings I normally tend to pick the middle one this seems to be the one that seems fine to me so click on that save and this will take effect the next time we restart the app so we'll close the app make sure to close it from the tray as well and then restart it So we've started this, we'll start the game and then we'll do the settings inside as well. So here we are, we have logged into the game. I've logged into my Twitter and we are at the start menu. Now we'll go into the settings once again and sort out the graphics etc. So you can select stuff here, choose the crosshair color, disable assist, peak, enable peak if you want. The rest I'm, I always leave them on display left side. Now we disable this one and I think this is it for here. Then we go into graphics. I select the smooth and then extreme. This will give you the best frame rates. Also with the style I choose colorful because this saturates things a bit. You can see things a bit better. And anti-aliasing enable. 
and auto adjust graphics disable this because what it'll do is if it starts fluctuating it will lock it to 30 so don't we don't want that select ok and this will give you the best frame rate. as you can see it's jumped back to 60 it was about 24 25 now it's about 58 60 um, you can also change the sensitivity a little bit because I like it low about 15 to 20 I'm happy with this and then you can just start and play the game so hopefully this was useful let me know how your installation goes try to do exactly what I've done and see if it works if you're still having 